Yo, what's good? What's good? It's your boy, Major Dad. It's uh, been a minute since I've been on the mic. This ain't even the mic. <clears throat> been a minute since I could afford a mic. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, I've been uh, I've been doing some dating recently, and uh, turns out I'm attracted to cannibals. <gasps> yep. <clears throat> I tried dating girls who don't eat children, but you know they just ended up. Spitting my kids on the carpet, on the fresh new bed sheets, on the condom I never put on. See, just, just a whole bunch of mess everywhere. I mean, it's just not good. It's not good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> See, I bet we could save the world if we had more cannibals. I believe I could solve overpopulation everywhere if everybody would just adopt this new topic. <clears throat> I mean, not topic, but practice. Y'all know what I'm saying. I know it's a whole bunch of dudes trying it, then girls be talking about, no, I don't, <clears throat> uh, I don't, it don't taste right, no, no, bitch, shut up, swallow it. If you don't do that, next time he finds you, he gonna put a kid inside you. You ain't gonna like that shit. Get all fat and shit, bust your pussy open, pussy be looking like fucking it's watermelon whack. came through that bitch. Pussy look all surprised, like, oh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, oh. But anyways, if the world does stop does adopt this solution I've come up with. I want all credit due to my name. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen in this generation. But then again, it might I've been on the little red tube, Pornhub, whatever the fuck. Any anyway, this shit might happen. It might just happen. Anyways, fuck stand up comedy. Sit down comedy. Nick tired, nigga. I be walking all day at school. I know it's the weekend, but still tired right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a lot of stuff been changing. Uh, a whole bunch of little nigglets came into my neighborhood. I thought the government was giving away free government cheese and food snaps if you were <laughs> to this area. Just, <laughs> what the? I just woke up one day and then it was just kids just playing in my yard on my basketball goal. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all niggas don't get the fuck on. No, my little brother ain't here. Get out. Go on. They ask that shit every day. Whenever my little brother be gone. Is your little brother here? Is Chris here? Is Chris? No. Go away. Shit. Nigga trying to sleep in pieces. A nigga can't even walk around naked no more. Gotta always walk up to the door and shit. So I'm riding in the car with my sister one day, right? And then we pass this place called Footmark. Can't never forget that. Now I read that sign. And I have a lot of thoughts in my head when I hear that. I'm pretty sure some of you do too. Let me show y'all what I let me show y'all what I picture when I see that. I I picture I picture some fake ass Jordans in that store. Not 23. 22s. And I picture the jump man. Not even a jump man. This motherfucking Spider-Man on the back of that shit. I imagine. You don't get receipts. You just get used scratch-off tickets. I imagine Kool-Aid without the flavor. It just say colors. Kool-Aid blue. Want some Kool-Aid purple? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't actually go in this place. I'm glad I didn't, though. Because I could feel myself just forgetting how to spell shit. As soon as I just rolled by, I was just like, uh, banana, B N N. Just bad. Just, just. Uh, I want to talk about school for a quick minute. Yeah, for those of you still in it, and for some of y'all who are too old to remember, if I have any like older viewers who act like y'all forgot school, which is bullshit. Anyways, let me give y'all a quick refresher on what school is like. What well, school? School is divided by social class. And race. I go to a predominantly black school, which is twenty, which is twenty percent Mexican. Yo, 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 yo! What he meant to say was Latin American. Yo, man, it's bad. You don't have to, them assumptions, man. You gotta expand your audience. And uh, only five percent of the motherfuckers are actually supposed to be here. <laughs> so my experience may differ from you. I did not know there was popularity in high school. When I first came to high school, my freshman year, I just looked around. I'm like, uh, what? 
the fuck? I talked to my pe. I talked to my friends. They were like, "Yeah, it's popular people." I'm like, nigga, really? Nigga, I thought we was done with that shit in middle school. Nigga, what? What the hell is that about? Then they was like, "Nigga, what you mean you don't see it?" And I was like, "I don't see it, nigga. I just see the people I talk to, nigga." <sighs> Anyways, I don't see it because I see popularity as like a middle school concept. Cause basically, you just stuck in the same. You just stuck. With the same motherfuckers all year. All I did in middle school was switch fucking rooms. Like six rooms. We just went from room to room after each hour. And it was the same motherfuckers. You could tell who was popular in there. Because you only had them people to know. I don't think I'm popular. I think I'm infamous. Like the game. but Mostly because a good amount of people don't like me. And according to one of my friends, nigga, he said that people just tolerate me. I'm an asshole <laughs> in person. That's what he tells me. Uh, but fuck him. He can eat a dick. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so since I didn't know anybody around my freshman year, I just, like, was saying hey to every fucking body in sight. I wasn't like these freshmen y'all imagine nowadays. Motherfuckers just always loud, trying to be cool just to fit in and shit, like. Chill out. People will like you. No one's that just bad. Nobody wants to talk to you. It's, it's crazy. Like these freshmen on my bus now, they just loud than a motherfucker. And I'm like, for what? Why you so why you so loud? Why you so hype? Just like calm down. People will talk to you. Jeez. It man is not that important. Sometimes you need to stand out. Maybe you might, you should be that quiet person in class. <laughs> Some lot. <laughs> uh, said hey to everybody in sight until I found me a select group of friends that, you know, was cool with me. That they didn't say, well, I don't really like you. You're an annoying, sarcastic asshole. Get the fuck away from my circle. So I just found a couple of people I was cool with. And I just kicked it with them for a bit. I say, uh, my freshman year was probably my best year. I only say that because that was the year I got me some pussy. <laughs> Bro, fuck all other reasons. That reason is number one. <laughs> got laid, man. Had me a little Mexican shot, man. <laughs> fuck what everybody else say, nigga. She was prettier than me, nigga. She had some nice hips, nigga. Nice hips, nice ass. I'm going uh, to pull up a picture. I'm going to show y'all a picture. Damn! Uh, check that out real quick. Uh, I know uh, I know y'all was probably expecting to see like some ass crack or something, but nah, sorry. Got too much respect for her like that. I mean, I do got like a handful of naked pictures I personally took and a, for a couple sex takes or something, but that's besides <laughs> me. Uh... <laughs> She was down for whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. But anyway, school ain't shit in general. Mostly because I wake up at 9, basically get home at 5, and my bank account ain't got shit to show for it. I mean, <laughs> that's one of, that's my biggest problem with school. Take up too much of my goddamn day. I could be doing lots of other shit, but they just decide to steal pretty much my whole damn day. And that is just sad, nigga. That is possible money I could be making at a mediocre-ass job. <clears throat> but anyway, ninth grade year, best year I had. I might have, uh, that was the year I lost my virginity. It happens, like, sometime, like, late towards the end of the school year. But I was tapping that ass all summer. So, uh, yeah. Tenth grade was ass. I was depressed because, you know, like, we broke up and, you know, First piece, you know, can't never let that shit go. Because, you know, like, I really grew an attachment. Hmm. Let's get to the present. Let's get to the present. Uh, so, apparently, I have beef now. But, like, it's not like beef, like, both of us arguing. It's mostly just, like, me saying sarcastic comments. And, like, she can't stop sweating out her weave. Or take it like a woman and moan every now and then. And, uh... <laughs> That's about it. That's all the time I got here.